Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. My favorite way to make fire is no prep. Now that doesn't make sense if you're making a survival fire, but if you're making hobby fire like me, it is an enjoyable exercise, an enjoyable drill. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. I have some random pieces of wet punk wood on the ground. That's really damp right there. Here's, here's a piece that's probably good and punky. Another piece of damp punk wood. Here's a piece. I can use the punk wood out of any of these pieces here. See how spongy that is? But it's wet. Let's go ahead and use some out of all three pieces. This is, this is pretty wet right here. Let's get a piece of it even though it's... Well, you can see the moisture right there. We'll get it. And this big piece right here. We'll get some off the edge here. All right. Now we'll process it up into a powder like you've seen me do before. And we'll just deal with the wind. Get it on the edge of the table here and we'll solar ignite it. And we'll let it start turning into a big old ember. And this is a style of fire making that requires patience. Now, it doesn't matter that that punk wood is damp, is very damp. That will sustain and grow an ember. Let's go ahead and get some leaves and stuff to get the flames with. These leaves are wet on the bottom also, so I gotta pick up just the leaves off the very top. That ember should be about big enough.
These are damp leaves. Everything I'm using today is damp. All right, now we'll get some sticks to feed it with. I'm gonna put you back over in this dark corner over here. And that wet wood will dry out and start burning a whole lot better. Now, this is a bad idea for a survival fire. But this is good practice for a survival fire to be familiar with what it takes to get ignition, with varying types of tinder that happens to be moist, what you can expect out of it. So practice you some no prep fire making and tell me how it turned out for you. I'll probably bring the camera around on this side so you can get a good look at this angle here. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.